In the Naruto series, we've encountered numerous clans that added depth and excitement to the show. Among these clans, the Uzumaki clan holds particular intrigue. Despite being the clan of the main character, we know surprisingly little about them. The Uzumaki clan had already been destroyed long before the series began, making it a compelling topic to explore. Today, I'd like to delve into the history of the Uzumaki clan. But before we begin, I kindly request that you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now let's dive into the subject. The Uzumaki clan was once a prominent presence in Uzushiogakure. Renowned for their vibrant red hair and possessing immense life force and chakra, they left a lasting mark on the series lore. Following their disbandment, most known surviving members relocated to Konohagakure. Due to their bloodline connection to Ashura Otsutsuki, the Uzumaki clan shared distant ties with the Senju clan. This connection fostered close relationships with intermarriage between the clans, as seen with Hashirama Senju and Mito Uzumaki. In a symbolic gesture of friendship, the Senju clan incorporated the Uzumaki emblem into Konoha's flak jackets after the founding of Konohagakure at the end of the Warring States period. Konoha and Uzushiogakure remained staunch allies for decades, with the Uzumaki clan providing invaluable fuinjutsu and other forms of assistance whenever needed. In fact, the Uzumaki clan's hidden storage temple was built on the outskirts of Konoha. Despite their close alliance with the Hidden Leaf, the strongest village, the Uzumaki clan had been wiped out long before the start of the series. Now, Let's explore how and when their devastating demise occurred. The Uzumaki clan was famous worldwide for their mastery of Funjutsu, a formidable sealing technique. As direct descendants of the Sage of the Six Paths' son, Ashura Otsutsuki, they inherited robust physical bodies and extraordinary longevity. Their arsenal of abilities included the Reaper Death Seal, a sealing technique that summoned the Shinigami. Additionally, the Uzumaki clan's temple housed 27 distinct masks, each potentially enabling the summoning of otherworldly spiritual beings like Shinigami. Uzumaki clan members were likely capable of summoning all 27 masks associated entities. Moreover, they possessed the adamantine sealing chains, an ability employed to subdue tailed beasts Another extraordinary ability they possessed was Healing Bite, a highly potent healing technique that enabled a single bite on an Uzumaki clan member to fully recover from any injury. However, the Uzumaki clan's alliance with the Hidden Leaf posed concerns for other nations. Konoha was already the strongest of the five shinobi villages, even without the Uzumaki clan. With influential clans like the Senju and Uchiha within their ranks, the addition of the Uzumaki clan made Konoha an unstoppable force in the ninja world. Surprisingly, the Hidden Leaf's decision to rely on an Uzumaki clan member as a Jinchuriki for the nine-tailed fox raises questions. Hashirama and Tobirama Senju alone possess the knowledge and power to create a seal strong enough to contain the nine tails within Hashirama, a shinobi with exceptional chakra and various other abilities. It's possible that the Uzumaki clan, while not eager to reside within the village, desired to maintain favorable relations with Konoha. Mito Uzumaki was essentially sold to Konoha and became their Jinchuriki. In the event of a conflict between Konoha and Uzushiogakure, Mito would serve as a hidden weapon, unleashing the Nine Tails at the risk of her own life. Konoha likely agreed to this arrangement because Hashirama had the power to defeat the Nine Tails and as the Hokage, he would remain within the village. One could speculate that one of the agreements between Uzushi Ogakure and Konoha involved the provision of Jinchuriki for the tailed beasts. Therefore, every known Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails hailed from the Uzumaki clan. Additionally, the Uzumaki clan appeared to be instrumental in teaching Funjutsu to hidden leaf shinobi, as evidenced by high-ranking ninjas like Minato and Hiruzen, possessing knowledge of Uzumaki clan techniques. Ashina Uzumaki, the leader of Uzushiogakure and the Uzumaki clan, 
was even regarded as the forefather of Konoha's Funjutsu. Consequently, the destruction of Uzushi Ogakure would significantly weaken the Hidden Leaf's access to Fuinjutsu. The Uzumaki clan's downfall can be attributed to their status as a prominent and powerful clan. During the era of the ninja villages, war and conflicts were prevalent. Uzushi Ogakure, being a renowned village with skilled shinobi, became a target for other nations seeking to diminish Konoha's power. It's likely that rival villages threatened by the alliance between Konoha and Uzushi Ogakure conspired to eliminate the Uzumaki clan Unfortunately, the exact circumstances surrounding the Uzumaki clan's demise remain shrouded in mystery. The series doesn't provide a detailed account of their destruction. However, it is known that Uzushi Ogakure was ultimately destroyed, leading to the decimation of the Uzumaki clan. The village's destruction could have been a result of a direct attack or a prolonged conflict that weakened Uzushi Ogakure over time. Regardless of the specific events, the Uzumaki clan was unable to withstand the onslaught, and their once prosperous lineage was extinguished. Despite the clan's destruction, a few Uzumaki members managed to survive. One notable survivor is Naruto Uzumaki, the protagonist of the Naruto series. Naruto's parents, Minato Namikaze, also known as the fourth Hokage, and Kushina Uzumaki were both Uzumaki clan members. Naruto inherited their Uzumaki bloodline and chakra, along with the nine tails sealed within him. Karin, a character introduced in the sequel series, Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, is also a surviving member of the Uzumaki clan. In summary, the Uzumaki clan was a powerful and respected clan known for their exceptional life force chakra and mastery of Funjutsu. They were closely allied with Konohagakure, and played a significant role in the village's history. However, their strength and association with Konoha made them a target for rival nations, leading to the destruction of Uzushiogakure and the decimation of the Uzumaki clan. Despite their tragic fate, a few Uzumaki members, including Naruto Uzumaki, managed to survive, ensuring that the clan's legacy lives on. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. Your support means the world to me. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, remember to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Your feedback and engagement keep this community thriving. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.